This course aims to provide a practical guide to teach you the fundamentals of implementing SAP with BPC Embedded. The course is designed so that you can master all the techniques gradually, starting from basic and relatively simple techniques before moving on to more demanding techniques that business intelligence professionals use to create planning applications for their customers. The course will take you step by step through the process of creating a revenue planning application. From this course, you will learn fundamentals of BRIP, the structures involved, such as info providers, aggregation levels, filters, sequences, and more. Creating all the required objects in BIIP, tips and tricks, and more advanced design considerations. Query design for, for planning applications. Basic FOX to enhance your applications with calculations. And tying the whole planning application together into a BOA workbook. Before we jump into the creation of the application, let's discuss some of the history and positioning of BPC Embedded. BPC Embedded as we know it today has a very interesting and sometimes confusing history. Up to 1998, SAP had no dedicated planning tool set available. SAP ERP customers were limited to planning in the functional module, for example, in cost center accounting. The user experience and functionality of these transactions were put, forcing customers to plan in Excel and to load the planning data into SAP with LSMW or other ABAP tools. SAP launched the first dedicated planning tool in 1998 with the introduction of SEMP BPS, which represented a giant leap forward in functionality and user experience. It allowed users to use SAP standard content info cubes and info objects, which assisted in increasing the integrity of planning data. A major advantage of BPS was the use of Excel as an integrated front end. The next iteration in planning was the release of BRIP in 2006. While at first glance, BRIP and BPS appeared to differ significantly, the overall approach to planning remained the same. The terminology of the various configuration steps differed. For example, a planning area in BPS was termed aggregation level in BRIP. BRIP required the SAP portal to configure, which in my opinion was an unnecessary complication. The web front end was clunky at best and came with all the drawbacks of doing actual work in a web client. Accidentally press refresh or back and your work is gone. It did, however, offer an additional choice in planning front ends, in that the planning reports and input sheets could be presented to the user in web templates, but user acceptance of the web client was mixed. Just as BRIP gained traction, SAP announced its acquisition of Outlooksoft in 2007. Outlooksoft promised to bring a more user-friendly and finance-centric planning tool into the SAP product suite. BRIP and BPS has a major criticism in, of being too IT-centric and too complex to implement. However, the lack of integration, data redundancy and functional limitations, especially the loss of dimensions due to performance restrictions, meant that Outlooksoft is and remained a finance planning tool and not really suited to detailed and complex operational planning models. After the acquisition of Outlooksoft, SAP set out to integrate the new tool into NetWeaver. The first release of OS for NetWeaver, version 7.0, ran on SAP BW, but was separate from the standard content in that it ran in its own namespace. Integration to the rest of BW was limited and required consultant involvement, especially in the area of data integration, negating some of the value proposition of implementing Outlooksoft over BRIP. In the meantime, SAP also moved BRIP back into the SAP GUI with transaction RS plan. With the introduction of SAP HANA, there was a further divergence of product choice. Both BPC Classic and BRIP moved to HANA. SAP basically rebranded BRIP to BPC Embedded and make a half-hearted attempt to create an EPM add-in for BPC Embedded. This was eventually and inevitably abandoned in favor of business objects for analysis. Other features such as data audit BPFs and work status are fairly strong, but not to the level offered by the NetWeaver standard or Microsoft versions. BIP Embedded's major advantage over the classic version running on HANA is its very strong integration with HANA. Fox script run native in HANA, while not all classic BPC logic has been optimized for HANA. 
As far as the future is concerned, BP Embedded will also form the foundation of planning in S4. From a main front-end point of view, business objects analysis for Office is the main interface with the user. Now let's look at the positioning and strengths of BPC Embedded. The strengths of BPC Embedded can be summarized as follows. First, integration incorporates SAP standard info objects, which means that the same master data used in SAP ERP or S4 is available for planning. This is not just limited to master data, but planning models can incorporate actual data through composite providers. In SP4, the ability to plan master data attributes has also been added. Second is real-time capabilities. SDA is a SAP HANA virtualization feature. Virtual data access from remote sources, for example, Teradata or SQL Server. By using SDA, we can add real-time capabilities to planning applications. Third is the HANA database. Planning logic can be pushed down to the HANA database through AMDPs or ABAP Managed Database Procedures, and we'll cover that later in the course. This allows us to use the processing power of HANA in our planning applications. These strengths and capabilities position BPC embedded well for detailed and complex operational planning models, where large sets of data must be processed and where the use of SAP master data is key. For example, it is possible to perform detailed product planning, logistic cost planning, and labor planning models using SAP material, customer, and employee master data, and also structures such as bills of materials and routings.